Medigroup Physician Services presents Medigroup's Frank's Fast Five with Healthcare Executives, produced by Bridget Wilson and Carrie Peters. Today's guest is Grady Gibbs, Head of Strategy for Expand MD. Now, here's your host, Medigroup's Frank Gillespie. Oh, hello and welcome to another edition of Medigroup's Frank's Fast Five. And today I have the privilege of talking with Grady Gibbs, Head of Strategy with Expand MD. Expand MD provides a suite of done for you services to support practices. You're going to learn a lot more in just a couple of minutes, but first I want to say hello to Grady. Grady, it's an honor and welcome. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. I'm so glad you said yes. We were looking forward to it and uh, looking forward to learning a lot more about Expand MD and about you. So thanks very much for taking the time. Really appreciate it. So, Grady, I promised you I wouldn't waste your time. We're going to jump right into these questions. So, Grady, can you tell us a bit about your background in the healthcare industry? Sure. Um, 20 plus years ago, uh, last job I had before I got into healthcare, I was a strategist in the advertising world and was hired to work on one of these campaigns that I now I now loathe. I absolutely hate them. But it was one of these campaigns that, you know, if you have this condition, ask your doctor about this drug. Right. And it, it was my sort of real entree into how healthcare really works. And I learned how, how poorly the system treats doctors. There was a lot of unreimbursed work being forced on the doctor by this, by this campaign. And of course, I felt, you know, horrible about having participated in that. Um, but shortly after that campaign, I realized I wanted to be the guy who worked for doctors. I wanted to be the guy who helped doctors, not, you know, created problems for them. Sure. And so I've spent the last 20 years working for doctors. That's very exciting, Grady. And I, that, 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 that's much a much needed thing in the industry for sure. And you are the man with the personality to do that. I've just known you a little bit, but I love talking with you. And you're always so happy and so so optimistic. That's what I like. So that's really cool. Um, so, Grady, that, that's a great answer. How has your background and experience contributed to your leadership of Expand MD? Well, I've, I've been really fortunate to uh, find a company where the principals and other leadership uh, of the company are kind of have the same mindset that I do, that the doctor is the issue. That's who we serve, and we're here to do that. And it led us to define the triple aim uh, a little bit differently than other people do. We define the triple aim as good for the patient, good for the system, good for the doctor. Okay. And so everything that we do has to hit the triple aim. So we're looking for things that re that obviously provide better outcomes for the patient, maybe reduce patient spending, things that also help the system spend less money because of those better outcomes, all while improving the doctor's lot in the form of better reimbursement, less stress, uh, fewer headaches, et cetera. So we avoid the things that, and, and I know everybody watching this knows what I'm talking about. There's a ton of these reimbursement for reimbursement's sake, right? That, that yep. there are things that you can bill because you can bill them. That doesn't mean they're good medicine, et cetera. And you can bill them until the payer calls you out on it. Uh, we've avoided all of those. Our focus is wow. only on things that have a, pr a proven track record of improving outcomes, reducing spending, and of course, improving, uh, improving the situation for these doctors. All the more uh, high reason for people to consider expand MD for sure. No question about it. Um, so Grady then, uh, and you touched on this a little bit, but expand on it. How does expand MD benefit patients and providers? What, or who is expand MD best for? Uh, great question. Obviously we can help almost any doctor. Um, but the, the, the types of, of practices that do surgeries and procedures less so than the practices that use medical decision-making in a clinical office visit to drive their, their revenue. So the, the PCPs, the cardiologists, endocrinologists, pulmonologists, et cetera, that are using office visits as their, their method of, of taking care of their patients. And what we do is provide either assistance or a turnkey solution around about 50 plus codes. Uh, we like to say done for you sure. as our approach to a lot of these codes. Some of them we can only do a piece of it because there still has to be a doctor involved. But some of it, we can the, the practice can simply outsource it completely to us and let us handle it. And we're doing, of course, care coordination around things like transitional, principal, and chronic care management, 
Yes, sir. We're doing the annual wellness visits, advanced care planning, remote patient monitoring, of course. Uh, but we have things like hearing screening for uh, mm -hmm. hearing loss. Uh, and my, one of my favorites, which is the uh, cognitive assessment tool that we use. Yes, sir. So these are all things practices can do for themselves. We say that up front. You can do this yourself. We think you shouldn't because of the amount of risk that you have to take on. You have to make an upfront investment. You've got to commit to hiring, hiring people, training them, managing them, replacing them inevitably at some point. Uh, you've got to provide phone systems. You might have to buy extra computers. You've got to provide space. There's just a lot to making a commitment to provide these services, and it's tough to unwind them. We operate with you know no upfront fees. Uh, we only bill on success. We bill in arrears. Uh, and you can fire us anytime you don't like us. So it makes it uh, a, an easy sure. way for a, for a, a practice to work for a, work with us. And the most important piece of it is because we're taking on the 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 the, the burden of workflow. Right. It doesn't disrupt that all important workflow in the clinic. You've got to keep that flowing. And anytime you add something new, you risk that workflow. And That's by adding it through. Yeah, that's sort of the underlying benefit of your service. You're you're enabling them to keep that flow going by the services that you provide, correct? Yeah. We see a lot of solutions that are like, here, just let your MA do this. Yeah. You know, and it's like the MAs are busy. They don't they, they need to focus on doing what the doctor needs done, sure. rooming and unrooming those patients, not, you know, something else. <laughs> I love it. A full scale service. Uh, one of the reasons we look to you folks. So that's that's awesome, Grady. I love it. Uh, Grady, looking towards the future, what do you see as next? I mean, you've covered a, a big bolus of things now. What do you see as coming up next? What are you what are you folks working on? Uh, well, the obviously we see increasing payer support for a lot of what we do. Sure. And it's because they're on the other side of these plane payments they recognize that what we're doing actually reduces overall spending. So especially CMS is encouraging adoption of some of the things that we do. Sure. So that, that part's easy. We're going to do more for more doctors as the future. The other part of the future is a little harder for us because we can't always predict what problems clients will bring to us. Sure. That's, our favorite, that's our favorite thing to do, Frank, is when someone comes to us with a problem and says, how can you help? And then we get to be creative about working out a solution. And That's a cool. quick example, uh, there are some really great cognitive assessments that a practice can give a patient, a little computerized test and so forth. Yes, sir. Um, we had practices using some of those that came to us and said, listen, I'm, I'm differentiating the, the drug seeker from the legitimate pain patient, uh, adult ADHD patient, that sort of thing. It's really a helpful tool. Sure. And at the same time, I'm testing these older patients for memory loss, dementia, is this potentially Alzheimer's type of thing and catching it early, which is fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. The problem is my MA has to, to drop everything and spend 25 to 30 minutes proctoring this online computerized test. Oh. And we just don't have the time. So we're not assessing and getting the full benefit of this platform. So, you know, we didn't develop the platform. It's not our tool but we support it by letting our people uh, proctor those tests on behalf of the practice so that uh, the, the practice can just push ahead. In addition to that, we've developed a free screener. So we don't, we don't bill insurance, we don't bill the patient, we don't bill the practice, it's just a free screener on a tablet, but it flags the patients who have problems that need that deeper dive. Okay. The deeper dive is then done by my people but nicely reimbursed to the practice. So it becomes this better outcomes, reducing overall spending because of this early detection, but also benefiting the practice because there's this no disruption to the workflow done for your system that generates some nice revenue. Wow, that is really cool. You've got the full continuum there. That You've thought of everything. I mean, really you have. That is really, really impressive. Um, well, thank you for that. I, there's more to learn, I can tell. <laughs> so, Grady, just real quick as we wrap this up, uh, again, Frank's Fast Five. So, as we wrap this up, Grady, you get the last few words. What message do you want to leave with our viewers? Well, I, I rarely get the last word on anything, Frank, so I, I really appreciate, <laughs> appreciate the opportunity to do that today. Um, we, we, we would love to just have conversations 
with Medigroup physicians and their practice administrators. Those are our two favorite kind of people. You know, let us find out how we can help you. And uh, most importantly, don't prejudge some of what we do. There are other ways of doing it that do burden workflow and disrupt the practice. And so there's a lot of, hey, I've heard about that or a friend of mine tried that and it didn't work. Right. That doesn't mean it doesn't work. It just means the way that other uh, practice tried it didn't sure. work. Makes so uh, oftentimes that's, that's a real opportunity to serve. Uh, but we also want to hear about the problems. We want to hear that, hey, we've got an issue with this. Sure. And that type of conversation includes the consultants and other vendors in the Medigroup family. Because if, if you share our mission of serving doctors, we want to help you. Now, I can't guarantee that we can help you, but we want to hear about it. We want to talk about this, see if we can't get creative and find a solution that benefits you sure. as, long as, you're serving the, as long as you're serving the Medigroup doctors. We're here to help you, too. That's fantastic. And what a great message to leave. Grady, I can't thank you enough. I, uh, Like I said earlier, I've uh, uh, known you only a short time, but your enthusiasm and your, your positivity is outstanding. And that makes all the difference in the world. So it's always a pleasure. And we look forward to working with you here at Medigroup and can't wait to do more. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, give Grady a call at Expand MD. Thank you, Grady, very much. Uh, appreciate Thanks your time today. You're welcome. Take care. Have a great rest of the week. This has been Many Groups Frank's Fast Five with Healthcare Executives, produced by Bridget Wilson and Carrie Peters and hosted by Frank Gillespie. Special thanks to Grady Gibbs, Head of Strategy for Expand MD. This has been a presentation of Many Group Physician Services.